Welcome back to the second installment of Guardians of the Divine. Since the return of the Apostle Paul, the Dark Forces have been set back several steps in their attempt to destroy humanity. Baphomet summoned a Witch's Council to deal with the issue. Their plan was to attack the mental state of humanity. Their first victim, Lisa, was a single mom of two. Her boyfriend abandoned her never to be seen again working to jobs to support her family Lisa's mental state was fragile this was the perfect time to attack enter despair despair had been working hard on Lisa for a while he set up the loss of her kids to the state and constantly sent her into a downward spiral eventually leading her to drugs and illegal work to survive. Finding his way to her by the Most High, Paul says, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Deciding she had nothing to lose, Lisa decided to give Jesus a chance. Finally on the right track, it was not long until despair was up to his evil ways. Inside Lisa's mind, just as Lisa was about to be forced back into her vices by her former pimp, Paul appears. After dealing with the pimp in the physical, Paul prepares for battle in the spiritual against despair. Paul made quick work of despair. But was this the end of despair? Or just the beginning? Special thanks to Transview Man for the audio and guest appearance.